Okay, good. We will now do kind of the anatomy of the spinal cord. Now remember, each one of these models is different, but similar. Each one of these is a chunk of the spinal cord. So the spinal cord is running brain up here, running up and down. And we just took a chunk out to show you some of the, the anatomy, the microscopic anatomy of it. This one is the spinal cord sitting within the cervical bone. This is referred to as the fifth cervical vertebrae. Okay, and we remember the lamina and the spinous process and the superior articular process with facet in the body. Okay. Here's all of our components of the spinal cord and its covering. So this is most realistic as we would see it in the body. Right? This is just the cord. So we took this cord and, and just took the cord out. So you can see some of the components. And this is a nice colorful one. And this is the same thing without as much color. Right? So let's put this guy to the side. Boring. Okay. <laughs> so let's look at what's going on here first. What's how it is found within the body. So obviously the spinal cord is protected by both bone, fat, adipose, and then connective tissue. All right. So we know the bony part, and that forms the um, vertebral canal, and that's where the spinal cord sits. Right. But it's well secured. So if we start from outside and work our way in, that's what we have. So let's prop that up for you. All right. So the first thing you see is the bone. Now, is this the posterior or anterior aspect of the model? Posterior, posterior right? Because the spine is processed. So then you see a thin layer of gray tissue right against the bone. That represents a ligament. That is a ligament that holds the different lamina. So there's a ligament that goes from lamina to lamina to lamina to lamina and holds all those lamina together. That's one of my favorite ligaments, just because of the name. Ligamentum flavum. Ligamentum flavum, all right? Inside of the flavum, is this yellow stuff with some blood vessels embedded in it. That's adipose tissue. It's a cushion of fat. Right? Inside of that, we then have this gray or white component. On this model, that represents two of the three layers. All right? That represents the dura right up against the fat. That's the dura model. And then inside of the dora, right up against the dora, is the arachnoid. And maybe you can see it closely here on this part here. What they've done here is there are actually two layers, outer layer and inner layer. They're right up against one another, so they're harder to see, but the outer layer is the dora and the inner layer is the arachnoid model. Then there's a space, right? That space that goes all the way around. It's called the subarachnoid space. And that's typically filled with cerebral spinal fluid, fluid. Then you come to the actual cord, and there's a gray covering around the cord. That's the pia mater. That's the innermost. And that's glued to the actual spinal cord. So you have pia, then the space, subarachnoid space, then you have the arachnoid mater. Outside of that, you have the dura mater. Then you have fat, adipose tissue. Then you have the ligamentum flavum, and then the bone. Going forward towards the body, same idea. You have the same structures, and then you see another layer of fat. But the ligament, the gray ligament, next to the body, that's the posterior longitudinal ligament. That ligament holds the vertebral bodies together. And there's a ligament in the back of the body, posterior longitudinal, and there's a ligament in front of the bodies. Front of the body. Our model doesn't have that one, but there's another one here, anterior longitudinal ligament, that secures 
the vertebrae together. Okay, that's what ligaments do. All right, so let's end 